Okay, so at this stage I've got my wheels positioned and I can start to work on the bodywork. To do this I'm going to have a new layer and just close this one down, just move this into position and zoom in a bit. So we can see we've got my tires there and we'll come down to the or hit spacebar again and hit primitive and instead of the lathe tool which we used previously I'll just choose any other and come down to my models um, uh, tab down here and just choose this square at the moment my symmetry is on which is why it's become the star shape so I need to just turn my symmetry off especially just the um, radial symmetry so I'll just I'll just turn it off altogether so there's the square and in my tool options here you can see that I've got the options to increase or decrease the number of um, uh, points in my cage so I can increase like so which gives me more points to work with and I'm going to set this to 5 on the X, 4 on the Y, and 5 on the Z. Okay. So now I've got enough points, and it's only and it's always better to make sure that you know how many you need early on. Um, this is just something that I've sort of played around with and and it's fine at the moment for what for this demonstration so that's that's what I've used oh sorry let me just change that to five okay so at this stage what I can do is with it selected hit transform and move it roughly into the middle and then stretch this out there are many different ways to create vehicles in the 3D coat, and this is just just this is just one of them. And then I'm going to move this up and just get the base of my um, object here, just to where I want the, the the height of the car from the ground, roughly there. Again, it depends on what kind of vehicle you're doing. If you're doing a a four x four, this is going to be starting way up here. Uh, sports cars are very low on the floor, so they're uh, closer to the ground rather. So we'll just choose this one for now. Now I could, if I wanted to, tip this as well, just angle it slightly. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do here is just look at my the width of the car and Roughly, I'm going to say it's roughly two, two and a half squares wide. I know that my tire is, is roughly this, this size, probably the, the same cube as this. So I'll just, again, just do it roughly. So I'm going to go for something like that which is probably three actually, never mind. We'll, we'll go for that for now. Okay, so that's the basics there, just stretched out. So by turning this off now, I'll get the cage back. And then I can use the symmetry um, options here, and also the smooth option. So I'll turn smoothing on. You see it just rounds those corners out. And in the X, if you notice now, when I start to pull, I pull both sides of the cage. So I'll zoom in a little bit more, and I'll start to manipulate this how I want it. So I've got my orthographic view on, and it's very useful because I'm going to be able, obviously, to see the tires underneath there. So now I can move between this view and this view just to get my my shapes right and also obviously the front view but to start off with it's better to look at the side now I haven't got much real estate here so I'm gonna to have to just move these around as I'm going right let's start off by 
lifting up the center part here and this one and we'll move the middle part up as well like so. You need to be careful with this as well that it's center. You can come off the center line with, with these options. So again, I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not doing anything with any kind of um, accuracy in mind. It's just to get some, some shape. And depending again on the car design, I'm going to move this one up, probably have a sweeping back here, something like that. I'm going to crunch these side panels down, bring the middle part out, something like that, I snap to the side these ones. Always bear in mind when you're doing this about the distances that you've got with the wheels. So you need to make sure that you've got enough kind of distance here for the wheel arch. So it, it's not that important because you can, there are ways around it but just, just be mindful. And let's just pull these down. Again for this for this demo I'm not really concerned with with the design of this vehicle I just really want to show you um, how to get your your forms in there um, and as you know as you can see already we haven't actually done much sculpting at all in this we're, we're, we're well on the way to producing what's what's a pretty cool shape here and we haven't actually done any sculpting on this so let's just return this line to the center here. System starting to slow down again. And if it carries on, I'll just pause the video and let my computer sort itself out and then sort of pick up exactly from where I left off because it does correct itself after a while. It's just, it's a pretty old computer. So looking at the front of the vehicle here, I'm, I'm quite happy with that shape. I can pull these out more to the sides to flatten that roof off. Just make sure I'm in the center or as close to the center as I can be, like so. Pull the front of the front point down And I'm leaving enough area on the sides here because I've got to get those wheels in. Okay, almost done. Okay, I'll just move around to the back and just start to make some shape on the back here and a little bit too far there so just pull these in um, I'll have some kind of a wing on the back maybe Oops. Let's move that out of the way. Not much space on here, I'm afraid. So I'll move that over there. And again, this is a design, you know, th these are just design points here and tweaking this to, to get shapes that y you like. Um, I'm just trying to get something that looks reasonably cool. I'll just 
Let's raise all these parts up at the back. The backs of the cars tend to be a little bit higher. Produce some a kind of an arc there on the back, maybe. Might be nice. We've also we've always got the option to come in and sculpt this afterwards and. Uh, you know, add additional shapes. We're just getting like a really primitive form here, but it it is it is pretty good how quickly um, this gives you some some really nice effects um, in terms of, of shapes. Uh, just by experience, it's not a good idea to kind of make this too much of a dipping shape here. Um, a lot of sports cars do have that shape in there, but um, it can be that can be problematic when when, when um, sculpting on this. But that's to be fair, that's probably more to do with my computer being a bit rubbish. Um, so let's just raise those up a little bit, like so, and front of the car, last little tweak on the front, just lift those up like so, okay, move this out, and if you've got this cage, remember when we set the cage up at the beginning, if you're setting you know, high values in here, then you can imagine how complex this, this process gets. And it, you don't really know which point you're pulling around. That's why I said after experimenting, I, I'm kind of happy with, with the, this media, this, this setting that I've got here. Okay, probably this is a little bit too far out at the back for the type of car I'm going for. So let's just move those in. Reduce Reduce that down a little bit there. Whoops. Okay, we could fiddle with this for for a long time. It's just one of those things that you just keep noodling with all the time. So you know, just I'm saying this, but I can't stop myself. So Just checking all around. Let's pull these in. Maybe just pull that side out a little bit more. Just pull them, slide them under there and see what that gives us. Okay. Okay, so let's call that done. And let's check our options here. So we've got apply. That's set to add, which is good. And we've got our volume. We'll add some resolution to this, we'll add resolution to that one. This is going to be a really high object now, so I'm going to probably pause this whilst it creates this volume for me. For now I'll just hit OK and apply. Okay, it's done it. It's faster than expected. So there's my volume that it's just created. Now, first thing to do when this has happened is right click. Um, sorry, not right click. Hit spacebar and check your resolution. So you can see I'm nearly up to 5 million polys on this object. Far too many. Unless you've got a supercomputer, you're not going to be able to be working with those amount of voxels. So I'm bringing this right the way down, um, and I can just add a figure in here if I just want it to be 
something like that. And let's say OK. Now, because I've just reduced that volume down, um, it's going to do its best to sort of match it, but it's a much better um, object to work with. Now, you may be wondering why those wheels were left in the center. Well, now I can start to pull them out of the center um, and get them into some sort of position properly. So I'm moving them out somewhere like that. You can see it doesn't fit, but that's fine. We can always move these around. So I'll take the back tire now and I'm just going to move this one out a little bit further than the front. Like so. And at this stage we can come in here and just go into a perspective view now to get a better understanding of the car and its shape. Now obviously if you didn't like the cage, what the cage produced um, fr from tweaking those points, then you can sort of delete this layer, create a new layer, and start again. And um, you know, it, it's perfectly okay to do that. Uh, just I think it, it's good to get a basic form in there first, and then start your sculpting on top of that. But as you can see, we've got we've got a really nice looking shape here for very very little effort. And if I just change the shader on this, um, this we'll call it um, body, on the car body. If I change the shader here, you can see with the reflections, it's looking pretty cool already. You can sort of even just at this stage, we can start to sketch over this object and we've got our tires in place, we've got nice perspective, we've got all these things done for us with a basic shape. So even at this stage now, um, we can maybe switch over to Photoshop or something like this and start to paint over this. And um, it's one of the things I'll be doing later on and and just to show you how you can use the projection tools in 3D Code to actually project some uh, details, uh, sketches more like, over the top of these, this. So let's just quickly go through some of these shaders and just have a look at the, um, the way that 3D Code kind of handles this. There's a good one, I can't remember where it is now, I think it's down here, which I use a lot. Ah, uh, no, it's not that one. I think it's this one. Let's wait for my computer. Ah, yeah, that's the one. This is the one that I'll use now to sort of do my sculpting with. I'll toggle back and forward with this one. And I like this one because of this light source here. And it really does help me to um, to, to to get an understanding of the contours of the car. So you can see it's pretty low res. You see all that in there? That's because I've got the uh, cached, um, I've cached those um, wheels. Uh, they will come back um, to full resolution once I uh, uncheck uncheck them. 